guys, this is Nidhi and welcome to my channel Get Gorgeous with Nidhi. Well, in today's video, I am creating this Indian festive makeup look or Indian wedding makeup look, whatever you want to call it. I've also applied a little bit of mehendi on my hand. Well, this I did it myself at home. My friend definitely helped me in doing this. It was a lot of fun. I am not a huge fan of mehendi. So I thought just this much is good enough. And uh, so yes, I'm wearing this red outfit and I've done gold, bronze, brown, smoky eyes. Also guys, I got a lot of new stuff from Amazon because Amazon is running a huge, huge sale. I'm going to put all the details in the description box below. So you can check out the products also the link of each and every product is in the description box below apart from makeup products i also got a lot of other things like this now this is a body lotion this is from brand chimerica so now let's get started and learn to create this look also guys if you've not subscribed to the channel please do it right now and show your love so I moisturized my face using this serum from the face shop. The link is in the description box below. Now I'm taking a concealer and I'll apply this all over the eyelid. Applying some loose powder on top of this. For my eye makeup today, I'm using this brand new palette that I recently bought from the US. Actually, a friend got it for me and the name is Natasha Denona Bronze Palette. Let me first show you guys the beautiful shades that this palette has. Look at these shades. I think perfect for Indian makeup, perfect for the festive season, for you know when you want to create those gold bronze eyes. So let's get started with this. And I'm first going ahead with the lightest shade that I can see here. This it's called Beach. So this shade I'm applying on my crease and a little bit above the crease, okay? So I'm taking it all the way like just below the brow bone. Now I'm taking a thinner brush and a slightly darker shade than that. This one again going on the crease. using the same brush and I'm taking this brown shade it's called Suntan now I'm taking this brown pencil this is from Shambor and again bought this from Amazon Shambor pencils are really nice and creamy I would highly suggest these pencils to you guys I also got blue black and green color in these pencils now I'm taking this brown pencil and just applying it on my lash line. It's really creamy guys. Take a pencil brush now and start smudging this. I'm taking a blending brush now and this pencil which I smudged right, I'm just taking it in the outer corner, in the outer V. difficult to do makeup you know when you're holding mirror in one hand and blending with the other hand I always prefer standing in front of the mirror and doing my makeup now I'm taking a flat brush like this and a little bit of concealer applying the concealer on the flat brush and what I'll do is I will just cut the crease to you know to increase the area that we have on the lid I'm taking this shade now, it's called Silk, it's a nice gold shade and I'm applying it here right at the center. Now I'm taking this pencil brush again and taking this darkest shade which is in the palette, it's more like a blackish brownish shade okay and uh, as you can see this liner doesn't look neat at all. So I am blending that shade here on top of this liner so that the color is more visible, the liner is more visible. I'm actually changing my brush to this flat brush. I think it would be much more easier with this. Now 
Now only thing that's left is to darken the outer corners. So while darkening the outer corners, I'm merging this dark brown shade to the liner. So as you can see now the liner is going like this, like diagonally. Now I'm taking some cotton and micellar water and wiping everything, all the fallouts. I'm applying some highlighter on the brow bone. Now this highlighter is from MAC, it's called Soft and Gentle. Using my favorite mascara, this is from L'Oreal, it's called Lash Paradise, it's a waterproof mascara. Again, the link is in the description box. So after the mascara, I applied some lashes also because lashes changed the entire eye makeup game. Okay, let's start with the base makeup. The face was the face is already moisturized as I mentioned at the starting of the video. I'm taking this primer now. This is from NYX. This is Marshmallow Primer. It has a slight pinkish tinge to it. I'm using this concealer. This is from L'Oreal. It's called Infallible Full Wear. And the shade that I'm using is 314 Beige. I'm using this beauty sponge. This is from Plume. I absolutely love this, guys. I'll put the link in the description box below. If you don't have this, I think you should have this in your kit. It's really, really good. Going on to the foundation again. This one is from L'Oreal, L'Oreal Infallible. The shade that I'm using is 104 Golden Beige. Now this foundation is slightly, I feel, is slightly darker than my skin tone. It's just making my face a little bit more yellowish. So I'm using this lighter shade of concealer and I'll highlight my areas. So I'm using this one from Maybelline. This is in shade Sand. Guys, I'm using all these drugstore brands because I get a lot of requests to show, you know, products which are more affordable. Obviously, like when it comes to my professional makeup kit, I only have high-end brands, Dior, Nars, Tarte, Huda Beauty, or even MAC. I absolutely love MAC cosmetics also. But you know, for these particular videos, which are more like self makeup videos, right? I like to use brands that are easily available and are slightly affordable, right? So now I have highlighted my area using a lighter shade of concealer from Maybelline and let's start blending this now using this charlotte tilbury powder this is called airbrush flawless finish the shade that i'm using is two medium so i'm setting this under eye concealer using this powder using fenty beauty bronzer to contour the face and i have this contouring brush this is this angled fluffy brush Now I'm taking this liquid blusher. This is from Makeup Revolution. Now, but the thing is that since I've already applied powder on my face, I will have to be very careful with this step. I forgot to use this before the powder. So always use all your cream products and liquid products before the powder. So I'm taking like really teeny tiny amount and just like this, I'm applying it here on the cheekbone. Okay. As I said, we need to be very careful in blending this because there's powder on the face, but there's not too much powder on my face, right? I took like very little quantity. It looks beautiful and the way I blended, everything is in place. It's not got spoiled. So it's all about practice and, you know, the technique. I'm taking this pinkish powder blush from uh, MAC. This is a matte blusher okay there's no shine there's no shimmer on it guys for the lower lashes i'm using this brown shade and mixing it with this lighter brown shade and applying it in the lower lashes time to apply some highlighter i'm applying it in the inner corner on the cheekbone 
bridge of the nose, Cupid's bow, and a little bit on the chin. Now I'm taking this K-Beauty lip liner. And now Huda Beauty liquid lipstick in shade Shiro. guys this is the final look i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you for watching keep showing your love and support and if you have not subscribed to my channel yet a quick reminder to subscribe to my channel and you guys can also follow me on instagram my instagram handle is called get gorgeous with nidhi thank you once again for watching this video bye